Okay, so today we're gonna make some pot plots. First thing you wanna do is get some references. So here they are. If you want to, you can take a screenshot. It's gonna be on the screen here. So we need a plane. To add an edge loop, make the edges smaller, like the leaf, the tapered edges. And then we cut off half of it with another edge loop. So then we can mirror it, you know? So now we follow the reference, we model the leaf. So that the end will be pointy, the middle will be a bit fat, and the bottom, like the stem, will be hanged down. Uh, you want to keep it as low poly as possible because we're going to add a subdivision. Uh, for the viewport, we're going to have one subdivision, and for the render viewport, we're going to have two. There we go. And now we add this middle loop to make it, make it a bit lower, so then we get the seam here in the middle. Later on, we'll add some dark details to make these outlines here in this in the difference and now we go on to the shading it's actually gonna be very simple here we're just going to have a diffuse uh, plugged into a color ramp and between that will be a shader to RGB and then this color ramp will be plugged into a mix RGB and the top one is the shadow and the bottom one is the light so then we just pick it from the reference here all right there we go so now we're gonna model the plot so the parts you have uh, a very low poly um, circle because you're probably going to subdivide it later and then we extrude uh, then we extrude again make the lead part on top here and now we apply the subdivision and then we add some loop cuts to uh, make it more hard edged and then we inset and then we extrude downwards extrude upwards make the dirt make this nice lump on top and then bring this loop a bit down and uh, we're going to add a loop under the lead because we want to add a shadow under the lid at all times. So for this loop cut, we're going to crease it. So we go to the item settings of the pot, pull this crease uh, module thingy uh, to make the subdivision a bit less uh, harsher on the side. The pot will have the same shading, but with the added gradient texture because we want this gradient from the bottom to be darker and the top to be lighter. There we go. So now the extra things to the part is we're going to add a gradient node, cut out T the gradient node for the mapping info node, and then we are going to use a color as well, connect it with the RGB, a mix RGB. We're going to add two colors uh, and set them to multiply. One is the dark color for the bottom, one is the light color for the top, and then the gradient will just make uh, the shift between the two. Connect it with the mix RGB, and then we flip it to go from bottom to top. So we go, there we go. And now, we have a nice gradient here. Set these mix RGBs to multiply. And then we pick the color from the reference. There we go. And as you see, there's a nice shadow at the bottom of the lid of the pot. But we don't want it so far. So then we alt this, uh, the edge loop and then we crease it. So now we make the shadow. The shadow is basically just gonna be an emission. Uh, a plain color where that doesn't get affected by light because you know we just want it to be dark always because it's lid and the shading for the dirt is actually the same as the pot it's just that the colors are changed to make it look darker because you know the dirt should be look different a bit now that's our basics Getting some details on the leaves so like we add another edge loop in the middle right in the middle uh, because we want to add that nice hard line in the middle of the leaf, like the in the like in the difference. Now we just need to duplicate the leaves a bit. Here we go. So now most of the shading and modeling is done. All we need to do is add the leaves, duplicate leaves, change some of them. These lines that I'm adding is just like the the lines on the leaves and the differences. So basically, you just duplicate an edge uh, of the leaf, and then you extrude it and then you just form it around the, the middle of the leaf and add that permanent shadow like we did in the pot but uh, make it clean obviously to make it fit the leaf and if you have Goo Blender, the one I'm using now the, then you have the curvature node, this one here this will allow you to get this nice edge lights, you know it's not on the reference but you know um, I like it, it looks nice there we go
thing I did because I was lazy and I didn't want to I didn't want to manually add shadow in the middle of the clump of leaves I just took a light not positive numbers negative numbers so then it can take away light so put it in the middle of the lump make the radius a bit small so now you don't need to shade it to anything you just have already the shadow there and then I wanted to add a flower so basically it's exactly the same as the leaf you look at the reference there's another flower reference here um, you look at the reference you model it as a reference I made this first in like a boat shape um, so have a plane, uh, mirror it, and then you add some loop cuts, and then you make the middle a bit wider, and the edges a bit smaller, so pointy, and then you make it into like kind of a poach, boat shape, and then you add a middle loop cut, so then you can make it wider and rounder. And then after that, after you make this uh, spittle, you just duplicate it about, uh, a couple of times, and then you make it fit into each other so it doesn't intersect, and then you add the same shader as the... Uh, as the leaves and uh, or as the pot because you know I actually added a gradient to the, at the bottom to make it go from darker to lighter basically that is it now so we just change the, the color of the flower and there we go alright so now I'm just going to make a small scene uh, out of the plants because you know I wanted to see like its potential so we're just modeling a window and a windowsill like the reference here adding a bit more light and bloom and the render settings are actually very important. The render settings, the shadow, the first part of the shadow is on low and the last shadow part is on high. And also uh, I added freestyle to the render, 0.2 freestyle to the render, uh, just to add the outlines in the render settings. In here the notes is with the shaders, just in case it got lost somewhere. This is for the plant, this is for the pot, and this is for the flower. I actually made two editions of the flower and you can choose whichever one to use. Alright, that is it for today, a simple little, uh, plant shader, and you can use it for a lot of things, you can add a lot of things, you can do whatever you want, it's basically just like a base shader. Alright boy.